Hi everyone, welcome back, or welcome if you are new. I am officially in Los Angeles, California, and I'm here for a magical time. So I wanted to share some of it with you guys for today's magical vlog. So before we get started, if you haven't done so already, go ahead and hit the subscribe button and become a part of my magical friends. Let's go ahead and get into the video. So I'm officially in my room and I want to give you a little tour of what this room looks like. So this is the Universal Sheraton Hotel and this is a full length mirror which is nice to have. And behind me is going to be our closet. You've got a little coffee station. They have some complimentary waters. A little ice bucket and some more storage space. It looks really cute. I love how it all lights up. And across from that is the bathroom. Here's what it looks like. And the shower. Looks really nice. Pretty average for a hotel bathroom. And then here is the bedroom. So I've got one full queen size bed. And then here is a little desk space, which is nice to have. This is perfect for just me. It's just me staying. They do have these universal prints on here that are really cool. Back to the Future. We've got some Los Angeles books. Universal VIP Experience book. Already got my phone charging. <laughs> and over here, there's a little couch, the TV, there's my bags, but there's plenty of space in here. Oh, here's some more photos. I think they're more of the same plus some others, looks like. Pretty cool. And now let's check out the view pretty bright right now, so I don't know. Might be pretty reflective. But it looks really pretty. There's me, you can see me in the window. <laughs> and there is the pool. So yeah, that is the view and this is what the room looks like. I think it's really nice. I'm excited to stay here tonight and then tomorrow I'll be going over to Universal and I'm just so excited to be here. I've never been to LA before. I've been to California but I've been to Santa Barbara so very different and i never been to the Universal in Hollywood so I would love to see the comparison between like the Orlando one and the one here in Hollywood and I'll have to share everything that I think is different and if they have different merch, all kinds of stuff. So. Stay tuned for tomorrow. And that was the room tour. I'll pick up back with you guys in just a little bit. So it is day two and we are going to be heading to the Universal Hollywood location and I am so excited. So I'm still in my pajamas but I got my hair and makeup done for the most part. And I just need to change and get there so I'll show you like the outfit that I'm picking out today. I did stop over to the Warner Brothers studio tour area where they have a gift shop yesterday so I will show you those clips from yesterday right here. So I stopped at Warner Brothers Studio Tour Hollywood. I just went to the gift shop. I did not have time to do the tour but there was so much stuff. I'm so glad I made some time to stop here. They had a huge selection for their Harry Potter items. Here are some ornaments and some phone cases. They had it like sectioned out by Hogwarts houses. So here's the Ravenclaw. You can get your robes here and you can even get them personalized. It was a really awesome section. So it's $100 for the robes, plus you can get it personalized. They even had some of the newer Diagon Alley stuff. I've never seen that spirit jersey. Hogwarts is my home. They had some stuff from Cakeworthy. Even this jean skirt I've never seen before, or this mug. And I've never seen these Hogwarts Houses sweaters. They even had a little Honey Duke's Corner. Had a lot of the typical candy, but they did have the Charmed Roma candles and some other purses. They even had the new puzzles. So they have this chocolate frog one and the Birdie Bots Every Food of Beans puzzle that were $30 here. And I have seen these at the parks as well. They had some magical creatures and butterbeer. The 
Look at this cute little Niffler snow globe. Little gold flecks. Really pretty. And kind of a matching ornament too to that. But they were $20. I would have picked it up if it was a little bit cheaper. They even had this dark art section. And they had the Pottery Barn full length mirror. So this is what the full length mirror looks like. I love it. I have the jewelry cabinet version. So this one was nice to see in person. They had quite the selection and I did pick up a few things. I don't have a lot of storage space in my suitcase, but I wanted to pick up a few things. Some things that I can't easily get or I've never seen before. So here's the bag that it all came in. So it is the Warner Brothers Studio Tour Hollywood location. I grabbed this tote because one, it's gonna fit easily in my suitcase because it's super thin and you can fold it up and everything and I'm a sucker for a good tote. These were like $3. And then I picked up a wand. So you can get these wands at the New York store and you can get them online, but since I was here, I can get it in person. The lighting in here is so bad, so I don't think it's actually gonna focus. So it's the Hogwarts Architecture Wand. I really need to set up where the window is, but I don't have anywhere to put the camera down. <laughs> I need like a whole tripod set up, but this is what the wand itself looks like. Here we go, I can get it to focus a little bit. It has all four Hogwarts houses represented on here and it just resembles Hogwarts, and it's just super gorgeous. I know exactly where I want to display it, so I did pick up this. And these wands do give you some information about them. And yeah, it's just in this nice purple box, and it says it retails for $40, but I swear the ticket said $36, so it was either one, maybe it's $40. And then I got one more thing right here. <laughs> I got a mug. It's not me without having to go somewhere and picking up a mug, is it? So I've never seen this one before, and it's just a simple design. It has the HP logo with the snitch flying around it. It's kind of a vintage logo design, and it's on both sides, and it's like a silvery color, and this is black. So it's like matte, and then like a shiny black. I'm so sorry, the lighting is really bad. And it was $12.95, and I just thought it was super cute. Simple design, love it. All right, the lighting on this camera is ridiculous so I am going to get ready and I'll show you what outfit I'm wearing so here is my outfit for today so I have this sweater from the common room shop I've got my universal Gryffindor scarf I have my plaid pants from forever 21 shoes are from Target and I even have my fossil necklace on today as well and then I just kind of pulled part of my hair back so that is what I'm wearing maybe you can see it a little better in here. The lighting might be better. Here's the fossil necklace up close. And yeah, that is my outfit for today. I am ready to head to the park. I'm ready now and I'm going to take the bus. I think they have a little bus that will take you to the park from this hotel. I'm at the Sheraton Universal Hotel. If I didn't say that earlier, I know I gave you like a quick tour. So I'm piecing this together a little bit out of order, so I <laughs> hope you don't notice. I have my bags packed because I do have to check out of the hotel today. There is my bag. <laughs> so I will bring this down to the lobby so they can hold on to it while I enjoy the park because I don't have to be on my flight until 11 p.m. tonight. So I have like all day here. So I'm gonna spend most of it at the park and I'm gonna bring you guys along with me, so let's head out. So here in Hollywood, I'm in their like city walk. I think it's also called city walk and they have a Universal store, so let's check it out. Spotted their Harry Potter section. Oh, I love these prints. $695, same for this one. Here's their Christmas selection. Four for 60 on the Yule Ball costumes. 
here's the new Honey Dukes winter and homeware selection. I love these new purses. We got the Chocolate Frog. And the Pretty Thoughts Every Flavor Beans. They're both $79. Alright, this is the best mirror. We need one of these in Orlando. Oh, so cute! They also have this year's Collector Edition wand. I love how split in this box looks like it's floating. I know it's super reflective. And here's the box that this one comes in. They also have the new pumpkin juice sippers. They are 15 and your first fill up is free. All right, I think that's everything in here. Let's head into the park. Universal Studios Hollywood. All right, got my park pass and we are ready to find the Wizarding World. Don't know where anything is. <laughs> I officially made it here and I found the Wizarding World. So let's head in and check everything out. Let's enter Hogsmeade. shops kind of getting the layout of how this Hogsmeade looks versus the Orlando one and now I think we're coming up to Hogwarts next so let's check it out all right here it is Hogwarts we are home <laughs> this is where the bridge is over in Orlando and this looks like part of a queue probably for the ride and it's kind of a back area Interesting. All right, let's go back over to Hogwarts. So beautiful. Here's Flight 
of the Hippogriff, but it looks like it is down right now. Uh, so stunning. All right, wanted to see if there's a shop over here. This is where like the exit. Yep, Filch's Emporium. So all the merch pretty much looks the same. I haven't seen anything different yet. There's a little mirror. Check out. Some Dottie merch. So cute. But yeah, I think everything else is basically the same. So we'll head out of here. So I just did like a quick walk through from like the front of the Wizarding World all the way to Hogwarts and kind of showing you a little bit of the layout is different than the one over in Orlando. But there are a lot of similarities, a lot of similar shops, just things are kind of placed a little differently. And that's all I've really noticed so far. I do want to pop into some of the shops, see if I can find any marks that they have only here and maybe not over here in Orlando or just not over in Orlando yet. So we will see. And yeah, it's a really nice day. The weather is really great. I think it's like in the 50s, so I am in a like sweater today, but I'm really enjoying it. I am gonna be meeting up with a friend later on, so we will catch up with them soon. And let's just pop into a couple shops until I get here. This is the Zonko's part of the shop. So cute. And then it goes into Honeydew. and even a little bit outside of here so we can get all of Universal Hollywood because I am only here today and then I am flying back tonight. So she's my tour guide. <laughs> let's get all the magic. Yes. <laughs> all right, let's get to it. <laughs> little behind the scenes of us taking some pictures. Steph's lovely husband was so nice and patient and took a bunch of pictures of us while we were together and we were just enjoying some hot butter beer with Hogwarts Castle right behind us so it was kind of the perfect spot for some pictures. We're on our way to ride the mummy. <laughs> Only four escalators to get there. <laughs> it's so interesting that you have to take escalators down to the rest of the park. <laughs> Oh, no! 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 Oh,
Here's one. Would you like your receipt? Mm, no, thank you. So I got the Mario strawberry soda. It's got some ice cream in there. Oh, I can't wait to try this. We just tried the new Mario strawberry soda. What do you think of it? It's yummy! <laughs> it's so fun. I did not know there was like little popping bobas in there too. And there's vanilla ice cream on the top. <gasps> Cheers! Cheers! We got our mustaches. <laughs> So this is the Jurassic World area. The ride, unfortunately, is down, so I don't get to try it. But it's really cool. Like, I love how themed it is over here. There's the Jurassic World sign. We get it over here. This is where you normally would enter the ride. But it looks amazing. It looks just like a movie. Juliet's uh, going on a series of walkabouts throughout the day today. This is her opportunity to stretch her legs, get some fresh air, mingle with people like you, and a really great chance for you to take pictures and videos, ask any questions that you might have. All right, just found something that I haven't seen at Universal in Orlando, and it's this Bludger and Bat set, and it retails for $24.95. I noticed this Deluminator set. Orlando used to have one, but really cool fun find and I also just saw this it kind of looks like Lego it's $12.99 of Fox very interesting okay, I'm officially leaving at Universal Hollywood right, so I did pick up this ledger bat and ball set I had to take it out of the packaging so I gotta document the packaging since I'm gonna be tossing it. It's $24.95. Here is the bludger out of the packaging. There's this little flat spot, so it will sit on a shelf, it looks like. And then this is where I put the bat. It fits in here perfectly. So it wouldn't have fit if I didn't like, take the packaging off. So yeah, just wanted to show you. All right, so that is going to wrap up today's magical vlog. Definitely let me know what your favorite part was down in the comments below. And as always, if you liked today's video, please give me a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and turn on your bell notifications so you're notified during my next video upload. Thank you guys so much for watching. Have a great day. Bye.